Hello everyone, this is Neil Davis from Digital Cloud Training. The current version of the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Exam is set to expire on March the 22nd, 2020. And after that, a new version of the exam, the SIA C02, will be available. Now I expect actually it will be released probably a few days before the expiry of the current exam, but it hasn't actually been announced as of yet. So the new version is going to be the SIA C02. And as this is only five or six weeks away from the time of this recording, I'm getting quite a few student questions asking me which version of the exam they should study for and trying to find out what are the differences between the two exams. So I'm going to try and answer those questions for you now. So firstly, let's talk about the difference between the two exams. Now on my screen here, I have the exam guide for the new version of the exam. Now, it's largely the same. There are a few key differences. The question format is the same, so there's no real difference in the style of the questions. Now, I took the BEDA exam for the new version, the SAA C02, back in 2019, and I've also received feedback from other people who took the exam. And I can tell you that the question structure is very similar. Perhaps some of the ambiguity has been removed, which is a good thing. I thought the questions were a bit better written than some of the questions for the SAA C01, but the format is very similar. The number of questions and the passing scores are the same. So you'll have 65 questions and a 72% pass mark or 720 points out of 1,000. Now the key difference is in the domains. So there used to be five domains. There's one on operationally excellent architectures, which has been removed. And then you'll find that within those domains, some of these topics are slightly different. But all in all, my experience was that the exam is probably 90% the same as today. So the core of the exam is still EC2 and ELB and auto scaling and S3 and topics like that. So some of those core AWS topics. So to help you understand this in a bit more detail, I've written a couple of articles. If you go to my website, or you can also find this in Google, and I'll link it to this course video. But if you search for SAA C02, you'll find this article here. And this article goes into some of the feedback from the exam, so my experience of the exam. So if you go in here, I'll give you a breakdown of the two exam versions, so you can see here the differences between the exam guide for the SAA C01 and the SAA C02, so you can see that extra domain there, the defined operationally excellent architectures, which has been removed. Now, I actually saw some questions in the BEDA exam that were asking for the most operationally efficient architecture. So I'm not really sure you know, how that's going to play out. It, it seemed very similar in scope to the current exam. In terms of the question format, as I mentioned, it's the same. Now, in terms of the content, there are definitely some differences. And what I've done in this article is I've provided some feedback on what I think you need to study if you're going to study for the SAA C02. So some new topics like Amazon FSx. There's also some coverage of high performance computing and AWS Global Accelerator amongst others. So look through this article. There's lots of feedback for you there. I also have another article on this site here which gives you a bit of information on what resources are available to you. So we've updated our courses. So you'll find that our courses are fully updated for the topics which we believe are going to be covered in the new exam based on the experience from the BEDA exam. Obviously, when the exam is released and we get feedback from students who sit the exam, we'll be updating the courses further. But we definitely updated our video courses and our practice tests to cover the SAA C02. Now, if you look through this article, I give you a bit more information on the exam blueprint, the domains and objectives, and then go into some of the resources that are available for you. You'll also find our training notes, which are our cheat sheets, have been updated. So if you go in here, these are cheat sheets that basically cover the specific type of information that you're going to need for this exam. So for instance, Amazon FSx, we've got a free video here. So check out our YouTube channel for some more free videos. I've released quite a few of these, so there's lots of free content available for you. And then we give you the specific type of information that you're going to need for the exam. So the next question was, which exam should you study for? Well, if you think you're going to be cutting it fine, I would say definitely don't rush. 
This is an exam that covers quite a broad range of topics and you don't want to rush it, put yourself under stress and end up potentially failing. I would say if, you've got, if you think you're going to be ready well ahead of time, fine, carry on with the current version. If you think you're going to cut it fine and get close to that expiry date, then study for the new version and just use this information to make sure that you're fully confident on these new topics. So again, I just want to repeat, the core of the exam is very similar, the question format is very similar, so don't worry too much about the new version of the exam. If you're already training for the current version, but you think you don't have time to get in and pass the exam before the expiry date, just read these articles, watch some of these free videos, and by all means enroll in our courses as well, which are fully updated for the exam. So I wish you all the best for your exam. If you have any other questions, please let me know. If you like this video and have found it useful, please like the video below and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. We've got lots more updates coming for you.